Right, what have we got today? Well, it's a small one, but a heavy one. So, boosh, there you go. So what we are looking at today is the Bro or Brope. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to pronounce this because it is a Chinese manufacturer, but I'll, I'll take it out. So there's the actual name there. Now, when I first saw it, I thought, is that like an American surfer or something? And it's called Bro, PPE or something like that. But no, I don't think it is. I think it is pronounced Brope or bro whatever, I don't know. If you know, stick it in the comments down below because I can, I can probably learn something. But anyway, I'll call it the Bro. So the bro, and it is a bit set. So it is a, well, it's a ratchet, basically. It is a angled ratchet. Now I got this because I thought it's something a little bit different. I do have the Sabre Cut Ratchet, which is excellent. It's an extremely good price. You get impact rated bits in it. That's not what this review is about, but you can go and check out my review of that if you want. I really like that. It's excellent for the money, but this has different features. It has more bits. And it has this interesting 15 degree angle. So it's a little bit of an offset from where you're working, which can give you clearance when there are other fasteners and things that you want to get out the way of and you're trying really hard. Because recently I had an issue where I was trying to make some adjustments to it. It was a piece of equipment inside of a vehicle and it was a right nuisance and I had to use a ratchet. In fact, the first time I attempted it, I didn't have the ratchet on me. So I had a pair of, it was like needle nose, there you are. I, had like, I had like needle nose pliers with a bit in and I was holding them really tight. They weren't these particular uh, model. And then I was trying to, but then I had to have a finger in to keep the downward pressure. It was an absolute nightmare, put it that way. So I ended up using this saber cut and I thought, I wonder if there's anything else. Now I did have a look at Vessel because a lot of people have mentioned Vessel are excellent. They are, they're a Japanese manufacturer. They make extremely high quality stuff. I looked at the prices and then including postage, it ended up absolutely ludicrous. So I thought, let's have a look. Is there a knockoff version? And there is a knockoff version. So this is the, I'm, I'm going to call it politely the knockoff version. So if you think, well, I'm not interested in put in less quality stuff i'm only interested in vessel then stop the video and go and have a look at that i don't have that if someone you know wants to sell me one i'll have a look but in that with that in mind this is the the bro pe whatever the hell it's called um, and it's quite interesting so we'll go through what it actually is so what you get is you get the ratchet here and you get all these bits now i'm going to take them out of the pack i put everything back i've used it a little bit in fact i've used this more than the actual bits um, in fact there's quite a bit of wear on look there is a black coating on the actual ratchet but that's starting to come off now can you see that there i've done this in 4k so you should get decent quality and see what i'm talking about Everything else is absolutely fine. Coating on this has been fine, no issues. I've had a few issues with this, but we'll go over that. But it's a quarter inch, so you get quarter inch bits with it. Uh, we'll go over the ratchet first and then I'll talk about the bits. So we'll put them just to one side for a second. So here is the ratchet itself. Now it is a quarter inch, so it will take quarter inch bits. So here's a quarter inch bit. And just so you know, you have an open section and then you have a tapered section at the top so it can't go out. Now the holding mechanism, isn't ball bearings or anything like that. Can you see down there, there is what I would describe as, well, it's a split link really. It's a circular piece of material and they put a little hole in and it, it acts like a bit of a friction hold. So I'll show you that. So if we put this in, it gets to a point where it's now hitting that and then there, it now slides past that. So friction is holding that in. Now bear in mind, that's only friction. So watch how easy this comes out, look quite easy I'm, I'm, I'm not putting a lot of force in so if if that's something that would irritate you you may want to avoid this one um, you, there's a methods for changing how tight that is but then it just becomes more irritating to get them in and out and it doesn't use the ball bearings that a lot of a lot of companies will use where you can use these little detent holes but it's fine it's okay it goes in it hits that there's a bit of friction there and then it stays and then obviously to use this it's just like this and then it clicks around so listen hear it now there's the teeth are quite big so they are claiming this is something like a 15 tooth ratchet so there's 15 tooth teeth in total so the amount you need to move this to get to reset it so watch so click click i'll just show you so if we start here so i'm at like a 45 degree angle there, there's a click right so watch so that's that's quite a, that's quite a big sort of gap isn't it so if you want a more fine tooth one with more teeth you may want to look elsewhere but see you're looking at about 45 to the to the 90 there so it's okay it's okay but if you want to use tiny little fine adjustments this isn't what this is for but for just a genuine one it's okay and it does have this offset now what's the point of an offset who cares well sometimes 
you want to ratchet and there's other things in the way and this will just slightly lift it so if you imagine there's your work surface with your fastener on it's taking it right out the way if you have if you have something else in the way I mean a ratchet's generally used when you want to get it in anyway or increase torque but this is a very small one so you're not going to get that much torque so I thought that was quite an interesting feature and you do get them on something like the vessel and it's something that, that you don't get on the little sabre cuts there I'm not having to go with the sabre cut it's an excellent piece of kit but this is just another option for you so you've got that 15 degrees rise there the coating because it's so it's like two stamp bits of metal here and um, they are saying this is chrome vanadium steel it seems pretty decent the actual fit and finish is nice listen there's no creak there's zero movement of any of these parts now what it looks like they've done is it looks like they have riveted this so they've obviously put that on a surface and then whacked that and it's riveted i generally don't like riveted stuff too much because once they start failing they become loose they become an, an irritant and you've got to really find a way to get those back together by using a hammer that's less i would rather have seen a couple of talks or something like that but that's what they've chosen to do not the end of the world it doesn't affect it it still works and i can't imagine this taking that much abuse it's a small little tool so there is the ratchet system i'll try and get a close-up for you there so close-up wise the ratchet is just two bits of metal and you can reverse it so it'll go this way so click 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 and you can see it moving there you see at the top there see it ratcheting but then obviously it won't go back that's where you get your torque and if you want to adjust that and change it to the opposite direction there done and now it will go the other way ratchet 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 away perfect so very easy um, i normally prefer ones with a little thing on the top to change the direction but it's not the end of the world this is just as easy to use if you're working away and then you go right i want to go back now and then forward it's very quick and easy to use I would, like I said, I would have just preferred to have seen a, a thing on the top, so it's not going to knock onto something and change, but because it, the change, I don't think that's going to happen, and I haven't had that happen with me yet. So one of the added features of this is, the, well, if you get this, yeah, I mean, you can get this just alone, or you can get it with the full set. I got the full set just to give it a fair shake of, of the, uh, the testing here. Now, if you notice, this is slightly more open, and on that side, that's slightly more open, so it does have... They're calling it bit holding function or whatever. Yes, it does for two that you might use all the time. And then to get them out, you unfortunately have to have long nails like me, you know, take that out and it pops out. I don't actually like this system. I don't feel very confident. Watch, I'll show you what I mean, watch. So if I put that in, it's wobbling about there, it's wobbling about there, and then it's not until you actually push it in, listen. There, in fact, you couldn't even hear anything. It, it, it's simply reliant on the fact that there's plastic on each side and there's an increase in friction i don't think that's enough if like if you're banging this around with tools and stuff it's not doing it at the minute it's just going to come a point where that plastic is going to feel plastic is not meant to be used like that and it's just going to they're going to pop out i just don't like that system i think it's rubbish i mean you know i'm not trying to tell them how to do the job but look there that's not even in that that good this time so I like the idea of having two heads that you use all the time, always with the ratchet. You can pull that out and start have stuck instead of having to go searching for bits and go, which bit do I need again? You know, you can have like a posi two or a posi one. I just don't like the way they've done this. I think they could have done this better, like with a slide in mechanism or even just with a magnet. I don't know why they chose to do this. So there's a flat head, which again, in getting them out, it's okay for me. But if you bite your nails because you're, you know, worried all the time or something, it's going to be, it's, it's going to actually be really difficult. You're going to have to use another tool to go like this, and that's not really what you should be using tools for. They just end up getting gnawed up. I mean, these bits are okay. They're very short though. Compare them to the the bit set. Look at the shortness. Of that. That's a bit mean, isn't it? Um, they still work. I'll show you. I mean, you know, I've got no problems with that. They go in eventually there you go and they are they sit very flush so you, you've got still got full use of the head but just i don't know and i've used this flat head quite a bit and none of the coating has come off i have scratched it up though and i used the is this a p2 i can't remember now let's have a look p2 p1 it should have it written on somewhere there yeah so that is a it doesn't see it i would prefer it if it said pete because that's tiny that if you need glasses you're, you're stuffed um I would have preferred it to say a P2, but it is a, it's a Phillips 2, as you can see there. And again, that's doing okay. No problems with that. Geometry-wise, it's fine. It's made absolutely fine. And again, pops in, pops in that way. Boom. And then you can rotate it with your thumb if you want. There, so you've got that option. I quite like this exposed ratchet. Just the way, if, if, if you want to, if it's in and you go, right, let's do that until we get a, right, we've got a bit of bite now. Right now, give it a ratchet. I quite like that. I, 
I mean, there may be people who disagree with me in the comments and say, that shouldn't be open, it's gonna get dirt in, but okay, it's also gonna let you clean it more easily. You know, just blast it with a bit of WD-40, you know, get all the gunk out. So, uh, you know, I've got no problems with that. And the top looks nice. And I like this, it's got a little bit of push on it. So yeah, okay, pretty decent. And there's the ratchet working. I've shown you that there, pretty decent. If you notice, interestingly, to keep this, if can you see in the middle there, there is a ball bearing, you see it? Watch, there you see it, actuating up and down. Boom, 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 boom. So there's all sort, so that's, I presume there must be a spring in here as well. Perfect, so no problems with that. So it's about four inches long, it's fine. And what we'll do is, I've, I've showed you this, and I, and I quite like this as well. This will give you options to store it. Although what I have done is, I went and got a Maxpedition Micro, and I'm probably, because this doesn't come with a case, and I don't like tools hanging about, they just end up getting gnawed up, I'm probably gonna use this. Uh, is like a ratchet set, I'll put that in there. I'll also put in the saver cut, so I've got a couple of ratchets, and then the bits can go, you know, in something like this. They either go like that, just for ease, ease of use, so ones I don't use particularly often, I can stick behind there and they're out of the way. I'm probably not gonna, and you've got a little package here, I'm probably not gonna use this bit, because it's not elasticated and I don't want things falling out. I'm, I hate that when you've got tools and bits fall out, I hate that, because you just lose things. Anyway, that's not what this review is about, so <clears throat> pop that away. So the actual bits themselves, let's cover those quickly. So the bits that they are giving you, let's just see what they're claiming. So they are saying, and Bro PP, or whatever the hell it's called, 33 pieces, nice, quarter inch. You do get a little driver here. I don't think this looks particularly impact rated. And if you look on the end there, you see that mark there? So quality control, a bit strange. Looks like someone's had a bit of plaster scene and then stuck a kid's toenail into it or something. This does work, it's fine. Um, you know, it'll go into your impact drivers and things like that. So yeah, absolutely fine. Stays, stays put, no problem. The thing is though, if you are looking for impact driver stuff, you know, if you're gonna use something like a big impact driver, please be careful that you are buying impact rate stuff because you just can because people tend to do that. They don't wear eye protection. I'm just putting in a screw, yeah, yeah, but then things shatter and all sorts of things. You, you be careful because stuff that is impact rated is properly made for impact you know impact proof it means it's made for that and it's made to take the uh, the massive f turning forces and newton meters that you're in pounds you know that you're going to get with an impact driver so just bear that in mind i mean these are the vero ones you don't have to get these brands and you need to use an impact rated dry uh, bit holder as well i don't know if that is i don't they're not necessarily claiming it is but what they're saying is they're saying i mean look at the difference i mean realize i realize that's slightly different because that has a magnetic ring but you know there's, there's a bit bit of a difference in size there that doesn't look like an impact rated one but i'm not claiming that it isn't because i haven't tested it in that manner i don't want it falling to bits though you know they are saying impact impact what you know you know making it making an impact you know on on the community i don't know so just be careful if these are impact i mean it does say it says high strength special steel what does special mean does it mean special to them because they're saving money again you know it's all about what words are being used here power driver okay what does power driver mean there's a difference between a power driver as in a screwdriver and an impact driver just bear that in mind although to be fair you know, they are saying that it's, I mean, they're making the claim of S2 steel. Maybe true, maybe true. Magnetic, well, they're not magnetic, but this is magnetic. There's a magnet down the bottom. So if you put your bits in quarter inch, pop there. So it's magnetic. So that's all you're getting for holding function. You can see it's smooth, smooth, smooth sides. There are no ball bearings, no detent. Um, although these bits do have the detent on it. So that, that's a plus point. But if you listen, pop, hits the magnet. The magnet is poor, I would say very poor. It's not up there with the PB Swiss tools where it's like, you know, mega magnet. This is, I would rate this, the magnetism on this, I'd rate this one out of 10. Barely there, barely there. You, you'd be looking to even pick up an iron file on that, unfortunately. So poor on the bit holder. There are the stats of the bit holder there. So they're saying H6, yeah, hex, three point, sorry, 35 by 60 millimeters. And it has the anvil on there, so it will work in your impact drivers. So that's fine. So in the set, you get Phillips, you get pH 1, 2, uh, sorry, Phillips 0, 1, and 2. You get it all the way up to 6. Hex from 1.5 up to H6, fine. And then your torques, you've got T5 all the way up to T40. 
So pretty nice. Um, I like the fact you get lots and I will use them. The bit holders are all right. They're not the best because look, they, they push out the bottom and all sorts. I mean, that's a bit lazy, isn't it? Should we put a, should we put a bottom on? Nah, let's not bother. Eh? Let's have another cup of tea. Brilliant. So I suppose you've got options. You can take it out that way or the other way. Maybe I'm the fool here and they're trying to save me time. <laughs> okay. So we'll have a quick look at the bits. Nice close up here. So this is the smallest hex here. So yeah, they're okay. They're fine. I don't know if they are impact rated. Who knows? Probably not. I might do some stress testing and absolutely hammer them, and we'll see. I'll turn the. Uh, I mean, look at the look at the pattern on that where the metal has changed shape. It's a bit worrying. See that? It's not flat. It's not going to affect it because it's the hex is still there. But okay, interesting. That one, that's unfair. That's a piece of plastic, so I actually push that through there. You can see it's, that's fine. But then it's got this bit in the middle interesting and then we have the torques nicely though they have actually provided security torques which is brilliant so if you get these annoying ones with a little pin in the middle it will still work and even down to the tiny one I mean the tiniest one no it, it's not security but I think that you know they've gone the extra mile there good well done and all the way down to a T5 let's look at the bottoms they're all right they're all right decent enough let's try and get a close-up here now just for scale there's my thumbnail so look okay it seems to have something of a, of a coating which i don't mind it just means they last longer and they're more corrosion resistant they're absolutely fine and the last ones the important ones that people most use so yeah, yeah phillips there there's no posi driver but i suppose that's a european thing they're okay there's no chips out of them and they're all coated i've got no problems with that and there's the bases so there you go so you get all of those you get a mediocre rubbish magnet on there and that it does the, put it put it this way it does the job and if you wanted a little bit of extra on there you can still stick that in stick your bit in there's the bit that comes boom and then use it like that perfectly doable but just bear in mind that if you are going to use it it says impact rated which fills me with a bit of joy I mean just as an example not always because um, I've had this argument with some of before where they say, oh, it's to be impact rated, they've got to be dead long. No, they haven't. That's just a method for negating fractures and things like that. So if you look at these uh, Vera ones, they're slightly longer. Well, the, all this really comes down to is if it's an impact rated, it means it's not going. It's less likely to shatter. It will break eventually. All bits are, you know, they don't last forever. They're meant to be a throwaway piece eventually. They will wear down whether you've got diamond coated or not, they don't last. But you'll generally find they'll be a little bit longer uh, if you were to go and look at some of the Milwaukee shockwave stuff. Shockwave just means impact rated. Um, you know, a lot of them you'll see they have this extended section. Now, it's not just so they can go, well, brilliant, another place to advertise and stick branding on. You're trying, the harder you make something, in other words, the more impact resistant you make it, you're making it harder. The harder something gets, the more brittle it can tend to become. So to negate that, you give it a bit of length, so there's a little bit of flex allowed, and that little bit of flex tries to take away the fact that this, this wants to shatter because you're trying to take it one direction and it doesn't want to go. So anyway, that's not what this video is about. I'm sorry to waffle on about impact bits, but just again, just, you know, when someone puts impact, does that mean impact rated? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, who knows? Okay, so let's look at the good points and the bad points. So good points and bad points. Now I've lost a bit. Where on earth did that other bit go? Uh, well, that's gone. That's gone. It's gone the journey. Okay, so there it is. It's in there. Just so you can see what you're actually getting in this set. So good points. Very cheap. Much, much, much cheaper than the Vessel. Although um, that's probably my fault. I'm not having to go Vessel. They are Japanese based and it was just hard for me to get a hold of them. That's unfortunate. Very cheap for what you're getting, though, included all the bits. If they are impact rated, I don't know, but you could argue, who cares, you're an idiot. They don't need to be impact rated. You're using a wrench, so shut your face. Yeah, you are right. But then if you bought that thinking, well, they're impact rated, and also stick them in this, and I don't have to buy it. No, you, you might be able to, but maybe you can't. Offset angle, I think that's a genuinely useful thing. I'm glad they didn't make it too silly, so you're well out the way. And then if you have a small hole to go through, it takes away the ability to use that i think 15 degrees is fine gives you a little bit of extra there the ratchet's decent it's fine it's reversible um, not many teeth though is there you know it's only sort of 15 tooth they are claiming um, it's a shame so you've got like this 45 degree arc which is a bit annoying uh, i would have preferred to have seen that higher even if it was just a, a couple of quid extra impact rated bits claim s2 well okay it may be s2 
who knows who knows it just, but look professional so there you go if i use these i'll become a professional cons um this is crap for holding bits i don't like that i'm just being honest the fit and finish this is brilliant i don't know why they didn't just i don't they just need to rethink that rethink that um you know this doesn't lock it is one of these friction spring clip things you can see the little silver there inside the hole there you see it there it's okay it's okay it's fine but like this it doesn't provide a lot of retention um, I just think that's the could probably rethink that so so there you go so it's okay for the money I think if you want to save some money it's absolutely fine for small little jobs just don't rely on the fact that they may or may not be impact rated bits but the bits themselves are fine for most jobs you're not buying an heirloom tool here you're buying something uh, which will help you out so I need to give this a mark don't I now bear in mind the vessel is very expensive but a lot of that is due to where I am geographically compared to the Japanese manufacturer I get that and postage is a rip-off so I'm going to be fair here for a it's kind of a knockoff I'm going to give this a let's have a think I'll give it a six because I like what they've done they just need to put a better magnet in there is that really impact rate who knows it's a you know We'll find out one day, maybe. And I think this is doing well. One thing they could have added was, got rid of this. Who's probably using that? Not many people. And put like a quarter inch in here. And then you could stick use that as like a standard driver. I would quite like to see that because they've missed a trick. The, uh, the saber cut do that. And it works great. Works great. And if you want a bit of extra length, you can stick the bit holder in. And away you go. Boom. So I think they've missed a trick there. Um, bear in mind just fix this and widen that and then you can instead of having that as a holding point you could maybe have a hole here or something I don't know anyway um, so I think I've, I think that's a fair mark we'll give it a six yeah six uh, good start but things need to change in my personal opinion but I am not an expert and I don't claim to be if you think I'm wrong or you think what is he talking about stick it down below and we'll discuss it we'll find the best answers and help everyone out in the community because that's all I'm interested in Okay, so uh, I'll put a link down below. It's not affiliate. I'm not trying to make money. It'll just be either to the Bro PP or whatever the hell they're called or wherever they're made. So thanks for joining me. I am off. Goodbye.